In this video, I will show you how to install Allplan. Log on to Allplan Campus. Here in the download area, you will find the Allplan student versions and other programs from the Allplan software family. Choose the appropriate installation package for your operating system. If you are unsure which Windows operating system you are running, you can right-click here on Computer and select Properties. Now you can see all the information you need. For example, I have installed Windows 7 64-bit. So now I'm downloading the matching Allplan 2014 64-bit installation package. All the details on installing Allplan are also provided here as a PDF. Let's start the download. This may take a while, depending on your internet connection. When the download is complete, I have an installation file in the download folder of my browser. A double-click starts the installation. Some internet browsers will ask you if you want the installation to start automatically after the download. You can do that, too, if you like. I confirm the Windows prompt, then yes, and the installation starts. The language in my case is English. Next. And then next once again. You should read the license agreement and accept it by clicking Next. Next. And then next once again. I haven't got a license yet, but that doesn't matter. For the time being, I'll install a trial license, and then I can install my personal Allplan license later. Choose the trial license for your language and country. Now specify two file paths. The first is for the installation path. For example, C, Program Files, Nemechek, all plan. The second path specifies where your files will be stored. This is where all plan keeps all the project data, such as CAD files, renderings, and reports. Like this and continue. For the setup type, I recommend the typical installation when you are installing all plan for the first time. The program folder name is fine. Now I get an overview of the installation settings. If everything's correct, I start the installation. Finish. That's it. An Allplan icon appears on the desktop. Now we're ready to start. I can quickly draw a wall. Allplan offers many functions that help you get your building design work done faster. That's because over 30 years of CAD expertise and experience have gone into the development of Allplan. If you're not familiar with Allplan yet, take advantage of our wide range of online training resources on Allplan campus. Let's close Allplan for now, and I'll show you two little software tools that were installed along with Allplan. Under Start, All Programs, Nemechek, and here next to Allplan, there's a program for managing your license. And the program Services. The program provides administrative settings for Allplan. For example, I can use All Menu to reset Allplan to the default settings or to import projects from older versions. All plan stores the data for your projects in the file location you specified during installation. However, when you work in an office, you will normally put the project folder on a server. That way, more than one person can work on the same project at the same time. A real plus, not just with large projects. That's all for installation. Once installed, Allplan will run with the trial lessons for 30 days. To continue to use Allplan after the trial period, you will have to apply for and install another license. I'll show you how this is done in the next video. 
Licensing Allplan as a student is completely free of charge and takes just a few minutes.